Sweet, so I went to the old landscape place and on my way home I knew there was a couple of these joints around which is bloody perfect you know all potting stuff so I asked the bloke nicely if he's got anything that uh, might be able to use for seedling trays little plastic cups with the slits in the side he said go have a look down behind the shed mate <laughs> I think that'll be enough <laughs> Gonna need some drill bits for the wood, some seedling seed raising mix. There's my mister. One of these is gonna come in very handy as well for doing a light mist on your seed trays. And uh, all the way along, mate. So look what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a trial. I've got one real lid. These two I'm just gonna put glad wrap over the top. Then after two weeks, poke a few holes, let some air in, keep watering them again. And, uh, and then a couple weeks after that, another week actually I'll take the glad wrap off we'll see how they go see how well they go next to this one so we'll number them as well one two and three we'll, we'll water them all the same put them in the same spot sweet sweet this used to be an old nursery I'm so getting that too mate having water coming out of that that's bloody awesome sweet so I got some tubes here got some cups and you could do this as a spider, all good. You could do this at your local one, folks. Bloody hell. There's 10 boxes in there. All right, uh, change of plan, folks. Um, you can now buy seedling trays off me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, mad. Yeah, these are gonna be good. Now, you put them in water, have a nice long tray, you know, big, even metal or fiberglass, whatever you can get. Have it 10, 20 foot long and that wide. Chuck your rocks or your, your soil. Put your seedling trays, mate. Have the water trickle through. Um, if you need some pots, mate, I think I found them. All right, well, I'm pretty much set forever. Um, oh, man, I got some digging to do. All right, guys. Oh, sweet. Yeah, Betty. There's some more pipes for me. See us. Got some of that as well to go in the seedling tray. Few more bits and pieces, snow peas. Snow peas will go up the post. So look, she asked for uh, 10 bucks for all this, and I gave her 20 bucks. There's a mad tray under there as well that I'm gonna run water through. It already has little holes. I'm just gonna put a little tube like you do with a fish tank through the bottom white one, and then the ceiling trays are gonna sit in it so the water's running constantly, and that source of water will also come from the fish tank. Keep it nice and nutrient rich. And I've got some black tubing. That's gonna help run the water around as well. Yeah, beauty. All right, next stage, ready to roll. Bought some seedling mix in a bag. Some of those little pellets, mix that in. Got me seeds ready. Got some, one of these, just to see what it was like. And uh, basically it's just three plastic trays. I luckily got two extra ones. And um, the idea is you shut them spray it with a mist make sure the seed mix is damp and um, keep it that way for two weeks and you'll see inside on top of that with the lid closed little rainforest thing going on some precipitation on top of the lid mate and after two weeks you crack the lid for another week or so then just before you put them in the ground you put them uh, take the lid right off and not in direct sun have it uh, you know in the sun light so uh, that's what, three, four weeks? And then in they go into the setup, mate. And here's one I prepared earlier. Make sure you put it in a place with lots of sun, but not in the direct sunlight, mate. Read the packet so you put them where they tell you to when you plant them. Now, make sure you have a lot of precipitation going on inside. If you don't, give it another spray, mate. Too easy. So I've got three different types of lettuce and uh, that's got two in there as well, mate. Sweet. So four different types, if you count the colours, mate. Sweet. So there's me little stash. Me haul, mate. All for ten bucks. Asked for ten bucks, but gave her twenty. And I'm just doing a bit of a trial to let you guys know if this works or not. Bit of a trial with some uh, glad wrap. And this is after about a week or so. As you can see, it's doing its thing perfectly. I did let a bit of air into this one, but it's airtight again, and I've given it another spray. This one's perfect, mate. Airtight all the time, glad wrap doing its thing. Nothing's come up. We'll leave them in the sun for another week. Should be sweet. Almost ready to go in the aquaponics system. Sweet! 
And there's my cups on my towel, mate. Sweet. So this little one's perfect. It's got the holes in it. Put some uh, potting mix or vermiculite, I think it's called. Matilda's just sorting the cups there. Thank you, Matilda. And um, keep that water running with the little pipes. They won't fit, but something goes through there. It's always good to have a helper and someone to hold the pipes up and move things around for you. And even dig holes too, mate. It wasn't an easy job doing it all by myself. But it was good having my little campaign manager for the Australian Hemp Party helping me all the way, mate. Uh. You can grow your own seeds, organic of course, or grab your pots and cups, little seedlings, and chuck them straight in your system, mate. Here's where I found my little pothead, mate, and uh, he's found his new home, folks. Stay tuned for part four.